Hello, fourth graders. Today we are going to learn how to use Google Sheets to create a budget sheet. Begin by logging on to your Google Classroom account. Your task, use the given shopping list to purchase clothing to donate to needy children. You have a gift card allowance of $150. Purchase as much as you can for one girl and one boy without going over that budget. You're going to create a sheet that will title it Shopping Trip with your name. Once your sheet is opened up, click in this first box. This box is called a cell. The cell is made up of the columns, which are the letters, and the rows, which are the numbers. In the first cell, I want you to type the title, which is Shopping Trip. Next, you're going to go down to cell A3, and you're going to type the item. Tab will take you over to the next cell, and you're going to type cost. Next, you're going to type quantity. And in the last row, I want you to type total cost. My first item is going to be a boy's shirt. It's going to cost $9.99. The quantity is two, and then I'm gonna have the total cost. Instead of figuring this out on my own, I'm going to create a formula that's going to help. So to do that, formula with the equal sign, and the first column that I want it to recognize is cell B4, and I wanna multiply that quantity, which is C4, and enter. So it automatically multiplies that. Now look at what happens when I change that to five. It automatically changes it. Now I'm gonna go down to the next row. I'm gonna buy some boys socks. Boys socks are $5.99. And I notice that these are not formatted as currency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this row, highlighting the whole thing, and come up here to format currency. Now anything that's entered into this row that's a number will automatically format as currency. And because now that is being multiplied out, it's a, a dollar amount. Oh. When I scrolled down, all of my information disappeared. I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this hand down below the three because I want these columns to show all the time. Another thing I want to do is to shorten these columns so that they only come to the end of my typing. So I'm going to drag this bar and move it over. My cost doesn't need to be so big, so I'm going to drag that over. Quantity, I'm going to bring it over right to the edge of that Y, and the total cost, I'm going to bring that over. Now, up here above, I would like you to type in budget, and our budget is $150. Notice again, I want to format this as currency, so I'm going to click on the G, and I'm going to format that as currency. My total spent and my total remaining. To formulate my total spent, I start off with my equal sign, and I, I am starting my cost in row D4, so I'm going to say sum because I want it to add all of those columns up, D4, and then I'm going to do a colon because I want it to run all the way to like D100, and I'm going to hit enter. So for my five items, it's $49.95. Let's switch this back to the two items and notice what happened. Now I need to take the $150 minus the amount spent to know how much I have remaining. So this formula is going to be equals and I'm going to take G1 minus G2. I can also do that by clicking on that column and hitting minus and clicking on the G2 and enter. So I have $130 left to spend. So I'm going to decide I only want one set of boys socks and those are $5.99. I'm gonna get some girls socks. And those are $4.99 and I want one pair. And oh, it didn't do anything there. And it didn't, 
process this as currency. So I'm going to drag from the bottom here, hold down and drag down a ways. And now you notice that it multiplied this out. So let's check it for sure. I want three pairs of girl socks. Yep, my total remaining is 109, but really I only want one, so I'm gonna change that back. I want a girl skirt, and that was 14.98. And I'm gonna get two girl skirts, and I need a girl shirt, which is 15.98. Gonna get one of those. I need some girl shoes. 1597. Get one pair of those. Let's go with some boy shorts. And those are 1799. One of those for now. Uh, let's do two hats. Hats are 699. So now I have 2516 remaining. If I was to get a dress that's going to be too much, do some boys shoes. And boys shoes are 2349, one pair, and now I'm left with a dollar and 67 cents, which I don't have any other items that I could possibly purchase to make my $150 limit. So I'm ready to turn this in. I'm going to go back to my shopping trip tab, which is my Google Classroom, and I'm going to turn it in. Great job today creating a Google Sheet.